Hey guys, Cruel Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. Aaron. And we're back mm. with It's Always Sunny mm. in Philadelphia. We're down some crew members right now. Uh, some of the gang are off doing their own shenanigans. Hopefully not crack. Well, yeah, because then they'll end up on welfare. They will. Well, they went on welfare. And to get on welfare, they got the crack. You got on crack. But then they just went crack. Yes. Mm. Yeah, last episode, everyone was terrible last episode. Everybody's terrible most episodes, but it was real funny. <laughs> Charlie stole money and it shows leadership so he should be the manager now too right yes so, that's, so I'm yeah. curious to see if that actually affects because lots of times we re-status quo everything mm -hmm. and it's not really that different yeah I haven't really felt I guess I felt a little bit of a difference of uh, what's his name Frank Frank buying the bar or whatever mm -hmm. or yeah. owning some of it sure. I guess but I wonder if Charlie being a manager will adjust a lot of stuff. Hmm. We'll see. We'll find out. Usually Charlie does all the Charlie work, but if he's the manager, who does the Charlie work? D and Dennis? Maybe. We'll find out this time. I got the hair now. I'm out of the hair. So I guess I'll just uh, see myself out. Right. Thank you for the hair. Oh, no. She's going to try to seduce him. Mac bangs Dennis's mom. He just, <laughs> all right, all right. Charlie, you gonna be okay leaving him at the bar here? Uh, I think things have been going pretty well since you put me in charge, Frank. All right. Keep your fingers crossed. <clears throat> you just don't do the toupee. You look fine. What are you? What? <laughs> it's a calculator. <laughs> I can handle it. He's the manager. Binocularing it, Aaron. It's just, it's just don't do that. You're seeing, you're watching it through binoculars. Uh, I don't think that's such a good idea. Oh, no, no, no. He's totally fine with the situations. Cool. Come on. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's gotta get out of trolley work. He's taping it together. Please uh, knock if you're gonna be coming into my office. What you doing? I was doing some office stuff. Oh, yeah. office. Well, listen, uh, we are going to head to town, so we just want to pop back and say good night. Looks like you got everything under control back here. Yeah, I do. That's a nice house of cards, Charlie. No, actually, no. I was doing some business stuff because I'm the manager now. Great. Well, we're out of here. Don't work too hard, okay, bud? Good night, Charlie. Good night. Should I like give me one second? around 10 30 or so now i really don't want to do that so all you have to do to stop me is call my cell phone by 10 30 and say dennis you don't have to do charlie work anymore you're not gonna get away with this hey. you're not gonna get away with this i'll get away with it 10 30 okay Cut. That was a cut. That was our. Hey What's up, buddy? Hello. Uh, I got the toupee. Uh -huh. What's that? Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? I don't feel bad for him at all. Anymore. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Is Charlie here? Uh, yeah, man. What's up with you? you I, still, I think it's Charlie? the point of the show. <laughs> She's in the back office. I feel bad for this girl. Dennis's mom tried to have sex with me. Okay, tried. Tried to. Yeah, man, she got naked, she came on to me. I mean, that woman is straight crazy, but I think I want to bang her, man. I know I shouldn't do oh, it. Oh, he I didn't do it. do it. You should do it. Look, an opportunity like this only comes around once in a lifetime, right? Right. Once in a lifetime. You're to let it slip through your fingers. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, bud. It's Dennis and Dee's mom. Yeah, well, that means that no one ever, ever is going to find out. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't have to make sense. You're right. I'm going to do it. Wait, that means no one ever, ever will find out? <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. This is good. All right. Oh, good. I got a, 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 I
not sex I want from you. It's sex I don't want from Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so weird. So oh, there's Angie. You getting into. You must have a police record a mile long. Oh my god. She looks so nice. No. Don't be modest. Now you they were together in high school. Once I met him and had kids, I pretty much stayed at home. Carl had two children from a previous marriage, and then we had five of our own. Woo. Oh shit. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jenny. I'll be your server this evening. Are you ready to order? Oh my more gosh. Time? Well, I think we need just a little more time. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Isn't having children a blessing? <laughs> what? Isn't having children <laughs> such a blessing? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Well, it's not your fault. It's just maybe, uh, I think you're too old for me. Frank, I'm two years younger than you. That's what we're talking about. How's that hair look? As soon as the... No. <laughs> okay. Dude, he looks so annoyed. What? Why do you keep checking your cell phone? I just been I've been expecting an important phone call. I'm sorry. Right. No. Good luck with that. Well, wait, wait, wait! Don't, don't go. I, I want to go inside. No, I'm not gonna ask you inside, Dennis. Why not? Because I really like you. Well, yeah. I mean. I really like you too. Then let's just take it slow, okay? Oh, well, well wait. <sighs> I love you. <laughs> I, I kind of don't know what to say. I don't want you to say anything. <laughs> oh, oh, hold that button. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm ready to talk. Pretty close there, pal. I don't know. Sealed the deal. Just meet me at Patty's and we'll work it all out. Sorry, Bob. Uh, I feel like maybe I was being a little judgmental. You're I... good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let's go. No. Uh, you're right. I, I sh I'm gonna go. Yeah. I'm gonna go now. We should take it slow. You were right. Really? Because yeah. I... Don't need to now. I, I think it's good. I think, I think it's real good. Poor Call girl. Call me. <laughs> Feel bad for her. Oh, yeah. Remember All these terrible people. Oh, well, my God. It's so dark. I love us. whatever's coming. I love it. You turn, turn the power. Turn the power. <laughs> so we got a blown fuse in here. Better get on What's that. the music? Blown fuses count as Charlie work. Oh, I don't think I'll be changing any fuses anytime soon. I know something you don't know. Hmm. <laughs> oh, the smile. Sitting there. <sighs> that was like the best sex I've ever had, Mrs. Reynolds. Like something magical happened. Hmm? I was just saying that that was like <laughs> so special and I, I mean, it was like magic. You're not going to start talking about your feelings and shit, are you? Definitely Frank's wife. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Gay. <laughs> no, it's just, I mean, unless you want to, because... No. I mean, is, uh, was the sex bad? Don't worry about it. Well, I can make adjustments, because I've, I've had to do that before. It hasn't been a problem. Hmm. I'm shutting the door now. Well, if I could just have a kiss goodbye, that'd be really great for me. If I gave you a kiss goodbye, would you let go of the door? Yeah. Fine. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, it's a terrible thing. Oh. <laughs> it's a terrible thing for you to see that. Look at that. Wait, wait, wait. What are you going to do? Punch me in the face, girl? You're going to maybe work the body a little bit? It's not going to help. No, no, it's not going to help. I'll tell you why. It doesn't unbank your mind. Doesn't unbang your mom. Worse. Something much, much worse. You're gonna have to bang Max, mom. Oh my God! Hi. <laughs> He's going to Max, mom. I'm looking for Mrs. Max. Yeah. Mrs. Yeah. Max. Yeah. I'm a friend of her son's. I know you, Dennis. Oh. 
Oh my god. Uh, it's been a long time. I haven't seen you in a while. You look different. You're getting a little white. Is that what it is? Looks good on you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you mind if I sit? Uh. Uh. So, watch a little TV outside, huh? <laughs> oh my god. Don't fight it, Mrs. Mack. <laughs> Why don't we go inside and have a little fun? Don't find you attractive. What? What? I think you're an ugly man. You think I'm ugly? Yeah. I'm not ugly, you're ugly. Yeah. What a, what a come back. Jesus Christ. What is wrong with you, well, woman? You came here trying you to... Me I'm you don't find me attractive? No. And you're, what, not going to have sex with me? No, this is ridiculous. I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> He's, like, insulted. Wait. What just happened? <gasps> oh, <laughs> my <laughs> God! No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Come on, he did not try to have sex with that woman. Oh, he did, because he's a dirty, dirty pervert. I'm, I'm just confused really? right now. I are you? I can help you. Don't trust him. But I... Uh-oh. Excuse me. I need to get this. Okay. Pop out real quick. Really? Yeah, it's personal. You don't want to be rude, so... Excuse me. Personal. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. How are we doing? That's in the cradle. Okay, good, good. Time to move to phase two. There is no phase two. I'm not doing phase two. I did everything you said, and it's over. This isn't over, I'm not! <laughs> Sorry, okay, relax, dude. What's phase two? Hey, uh, not answering my calls. I get it, you're busy, you're busy. It's, uh, What's the busy waitress's na week. name? Um, waitress. Listen, I think we you don't know her name? Call back nope. Because I know what you're afraid of. You think Frank and Dennis are going to find out, but they're not going to find out anything. Okay, I'm gonna keep my mouth. Does Dee know about the main thing? Or does she only know about this part? The Mac Mom part. Oh no. I'm just gonna ignore I think that maybe we should get together. Oh, they sound best. Alright, let's not give you a call back. Who is it? Is it? Let's go for a ride. Uh, Why? Grab your coat, we're going for a ride. Are you going to kill me? What? Don't be no. suspicious. I just want to go out and pick up some younger chicks, and I need a wingman for that. Come on, let's roll. Hey, how you doing? I like your top. Looking good, Mac. <laughs> ah, Frank. <laughs> you want to get down? <laughs> <laughs> I've never danced like that before. That's kind of cool. He looks like he's like doing like a What'd dance by himself. What are you talking about? What did I do? What was with the little move? That move always works with the ladies. Frank, you have never gotten a chick with that move. What are you talking about? That's how I got my wife. Yeah, really? Yeah, so don't go blaming the move. The move works. So, uh, what other kind of things worked on your wife? She likes money. <laughs> so she likes money and dancing. Can we stop talking about my wife for a second here? You hang over here on this side. Bye. Hello. Hands just kind of. No, no, no. I'm Frank. Remember? Remember? Go, go for it. 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 What, what song is what this? I don't know. Back. <laughs> you have so much confidence. Go away. And yeah, he broke his confidence. We need to talk. Dee, now's not a good time. Charlie is making me have sex with him to get out of Charlie work. Oh, it's phase two. Yeah, I know. Really gross. Am I the only one around here who's not getting laid? Dennis, Charlie is forcing me to have sex with him. Max getting laid, you're getting laid, now even Charlie's getting laid? This makes me look terrible. Well, you know what? <laughs> this is all Charlie's fault. None of this would be happening if Dad didn't put him in charge. You're right. I wonder what phase two is. No, what? no, whoa. Well, you gotta do something worse than that. Something much, much worse. What's worse than killing him? Gotta bang Charlie's mom. <laughs> no! No! There she is! <laughs> Hello, Dennis! Hello, Dennis. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Oh. oh, my. Well, uh, it's good to see you, Dennis. Uh, what brings you by? 
wanted to bring you some chocolates. Thank you. You mind if I come in? Okay. Mm. No. That son of a bitch! I know it. <laughs> no! No, he said he loved me. How dare he do that? <sighs> Stab him. I'm gonna stab no, his face off. No, stabbing's bad. You need to do something worse. Something much. <laughs> Bang, Charlie! What? You gotta sleep, Charlie. <laughs> it's one of the most elaborate plans I've I'm ever so seen. Sweetie. I just don't find you sexually attractive. Are you kidding me? He's in a you rocking chair. You don't find chair. me sexually attractive? What is going on? What is wrong with you people? I am sexually. I am sexually attractive. I'm an attractive man. Bro, bam. There we what go. What the hell is that? Four hundred and forty-three dollars. Listen, Mac. Let's just end this right now. I only slept with you to piss Frank off. Afterward, I felt like I was gonna throw up. His shirt says revenge. No, you're not listening. It's you that makes me want to throw up. So you don't want to be my girlfriend anymore? Jesus Christ. Wait a second. Hold on. I mean, wait. Oh I'm my confused. gosh. Oh, so you don't want to be my girlfriend anymore? He's been following him around? <laughs> he feels bad for him. Ah. <laughs> Because he knows what it's like to be He's rejected. He's not sexually attracted. To be rejected from older <laughs> ladies. He's going to go and console <laughs> him. Let's start it. It all comes around. Look, I, I think I know how you're feeling. <laughs> oh, man. That is such a relief. And check this out. I... Oh! You've done well. <laughs> Everybody follows everyone. This is all set up. <sighs> That is so wonderful. I have to ask you, though, how did you know that your mom wasn't going to sleep with Dennis? Hmm. <laughs> I kind of overlooked that detail. Okay, uh... It was a risk it was the risk, deck, yeah. yeah. Oh, you said there were only two phases. This one's easy. Okay, phase three complete. It looks good. You look really good. How long are you sure? first date? Yes. You're all done. I'm all done. You look great. Okay, well, thanks for helping me out. You're welcome. The waitress is going to be here soon. I'm going to go back to bartending, and you will go back to handling poo-poo. Yeah, okay. Phase four. No, no. I got a quick Charlie, phase four. Charlie, I won't. Phase you, four you cannot, there. There's no squeaking Just give phase. me one no. little bit. All no. right. Okay, fine. It's over. Why can't we have okay. Dennis take care you of it? You are hereby released of uh, all Charlie work. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, you're looking at the new Frank. Oh, I see. Got the moves. I still got it with it. Wait, takes. what the hell is she doing here? No. What the hell is she doing here? Really? Really? I'll tell you what I'm doing here. You want to know what I'm doing here? Slept Tyler with Briggs? his dad. I had sex with your dad. That's right. I had sex with your father because just like you, I like my sex old and ugly and with fake hair on their heads that falls off when you have sex. Poor Charlie, man. Some legit tears come out. <sighs> all right. I love how all the different stories all just crash into each other in this, like, the most beautiful way. The worst way it could happen. Well, like, he concocted such a scheme yeah. to get back at Dennis and Ooh, the phases. Like, everything. And he destroyed this girl. <laughs> In yeah. the same pro between him and Dennis and what they did. My favorite thing about this show is like it somehow tricks you into rooting for one of the characters, and then as soon as like they start to get what they want, you realize, oh no, they don't deserve this, and then it tanks them. Yeah. Uh, that's my favorite part of the show. <laughs> well, I'm like, oh no, Mac, what are you gonna do? And then Dennis was doing his shit. I'm yeah. like, I'm glad he's gonna bang his mom. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, I don't. Ah, uh, I did like the, the little time of him being like. It's okay, buddy. I understand. Yeah. You know, being I rejected know. by these moms. I know. It was like comforting. Ugh. Dude, Charlie Day really killed him this episode. He was cracking me up. I love, yeah. Ugh. He got 
very loud at one point. I love the t- the tears yeah. at the end. Yeah, like it's so good. It's done great. It has like a feeling of like, <laughs> what are you? <laughs> I love that too. <laughs> yeah. well, what are you? <laughs> it has a feeling. What? Sorry. No, it has a feeling of. Uh, I mean, I know they do it. They they do a decent amount of improv, but like they write all this stuff pretty. You know, the three of them, right? Uh, not. D wasn't really one of the writers. I think she maybe eventually started doing stuff. But, like, I don't know. I, I just feel like everything's so economic. Like, one thing leads into the other, leads into the other, leads into the other, you know? And it's terrible, like, all the things that are being done. Mm-hmm. But I feel like the writing, especially on an episode like this, is just at one point. Well, sure. Somehow, like... Nothing's wasted. Typically, like, an event. This one had two events that kind of kicked off things, right? Yeah. There was him going to get the hair, so then Mac was like... Uh, I don't know what to do. She came on yeah. to me. And then Dennis being like, I'm going to get off Charlie duty by doing this. Yeah. And then both of those things just kind of meld together yeah. and make it. Whereas, like, the one guy that died in the bar, that stemmed everyone going exactly. on different things. Yeah. And it kind of, like, looped back around. Yeah. To the whole Nazi thing in the box. The status quo lasted for an episode. Kind of. I mean, he's still a little in charge, but. Yeah. I don't get, like,. I felt like the way this should have worked, I guess he made his deal to take him off Charlie duty if he didn't bang that girl, I guess. Mm-hmm. So I guess if he, he needs to hold his word, I guess, is what is going on. Yeah. I feel like you take him on this whole route, you still make him do Charlie duty, you let D not be on Charlie duty. Right? Right? Yeah. As I would do. So you know what? No. So. Yeah. How about no? Go, go. Go bang her. Do it. You know, I've ruined your chances of doing it. I am not going to live by this fake deal that we made of you trying to blackmail me. You're on Charlie duty. Go clean the poop. D doesn't have to do it. It's only Dennis. He has a whole bathroom to do. That's, oh, it. That's what I have to do. Probably could have ended at the... I, I know he had his own agenda, but he could have stopped it at the yeah. first or second mom and not the yeah. you got to bang Charlie kind of thing. So you gotta do something worse. You gotta bang Charlie, and then she's like, "You know, it's worse. I'm gonna bang his dad, not his sure, friend." Right? I, uh, you know, when I watch this show, I definitely see. Like, I, I don't know. It's it's complicated. I don't really see them as or empathize with anybody as being real people. As more as just like, this is just a comedy show. This is this is how it's written. This is what it's meant to make you respond with. You know. So mm. my enjoyment all comes from like them trying to make me react to certain things but yeah like stuff like like the waitress like that's her name she's also I think she's I think she's married to Charlie Day like I, like they're all kind of like this you know a group yeah because was... I think it's really easy to feel bad for the waitress but she's just as you know she's uh, I mean she did do something she's like under that. the sun of Philadelphia too but it was like she was led this way by what Dennis and Charlie like yeah Orchestrated, you know? Yeah. Waitress, Mary Elizabeth Ellis. And that will um, be her name. Is Jenny the mom? Uh, Mrs. Mack is. Uh, no, uh, Angie. Angie was the Mrs. Kelly. Like, I guess it must be. Like Lucy DeVito. So is. Jenny. Is his I mean, ex-wife Dave. wife his real wife? Let me look. No, his real wife is. Uh, so who's Lucy DeVito? Uh, Pearlson. Ray Pearlson? The girl oh, that, Sid? Yeah, Sid and Cheers. Sid, the science kid? Yeah, uh, I think so. No, I said the science kid. Rhea, Rhea Perlman? R-E, R-H-E-A, I think. Lucy DeVito, American actress. She's the daughter of actors Danny DeVito and Ray Perlman. And so who was she? Who was Jenny? She was the waitress! That's gotta so be so awkward. It's also <laughs> an extra layer because he was like checking out his daughter. It's so weird. That's, I, oh, man, it's so funny. But it does add a level of, like, she's young enough to be his daughter. Yeah, you know? you're right. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, that's funny. But from a meta standpoint, oh. it makes it even more cringy, it more does. weird, you know? Like, look at that face. Yeah. <laughs> look at it. I see it. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you think of uh, Max Mom? Yeah, I don't know. As soon as it got her, TV I'm like, on a porch. I don't think she's gonna be interested. <laughs> yeah, it felt like I don't I know. Find you attractive. It reminded me more of like my grandpa. Like your grandpa, <laughs> you know, like yeah. sitting there eating like peanuts, watching TV in his recliner kind of thing. You know, sure. like that kind of idea. Did you ever know anybody or have anybody that had like 
a living room, like on their porch, pretty much, and like lived out there. I don't remember anything. I didn't know anybody like that, but my neighbor, like personally, but my grandmother's neighbor over in Williamstown was like that. They were always on their porch. They had a TV out there. They had like a mini fridge out there. Really. But I think, and I don't know this, but I think they might have been hoarders, and that's all the room they had. Mm, I think sure. everything in there, because, like, there was a kid I think we played with, but we never went inside, because there was just nowhere to go. Sure. I think that's what it was. One day someone went in, and they never came out. Yeah, yeah probably. Now, I uh, I know there's a, a couple guys, on my way home, there's always one spot that on my route, there's always like two guys sitting outside, and mm-hmm. sometimes I think they have like a TV thing sitting there. Yeah. But always, especially with the spring and the summer, like when it's warmer weather, they're always sitting out there. And every time I drive by, they wave. And mm. For a while there, I thought they were always waving at me, being like, "Oh, hey, you know, I always see you drive by every day, sure. you know, bye." But then I saw them waving to other cars, and I was like, oh, "Traitors!" They you know, others. Yeah. You're cheating on me. I thought it was special. <laughs> it's so. funny because. Usually, like, on state routes, snow, in the city, not so much. But, like, if you get onto a township road, you wave at everybody. Cause generally, because you have to, like, kind of go off to the side so they can get around. Yeah. But like, even, like, on county like county roads sometimes, I, I get waved at. Yeah. yeah. I think no. it's, like, the further away from the well, city you are. And if you travel down, like, a dead-end road a lot, yeah, like, you'll end up seeing a lot of the same cars same person, and stuff, yeah. too. Mm-hmm. So you end up waving at them and stuff a lot, yeah. too. Or do the finger, which is your driver's... Do that. I, I, wave. I, I do... The hand. Like, I have my hand. thumb hooked oh, here, okay. and I'm always yeah. like, hmm. hopefully I can see my fingers go up. All right, well, that was always sunny, Aaron. Do you feel better than you did when we first watched it? Um, I know I don't feel better. You feel better, don't no. you? Yeah. You got some laughs out. You got some cringe out. It's important to get cringe out. I guess. You need to get that cringe out. Sure. Out. You don't want to internalize the cringe, you know? You were yes. cringing good. You I were just, sitting there like, well, I just feel so bad for You're trying lady. to get yourself. No, mentally, this is what you're doing, though. You're distancing yourself, but you still want to see it. <laughs> like, no, just don't, but I've got to watch and see what happens. How bad will it be? It's like, you know, like, what's an unconscious, like, thing? Like, you're like, you don't want anybody to, around you to see that you're watching it. Right. <laughs> don't, right? oh, don't look. Oh, if so I can't funny. see them, I don't know they're there. I'm always fascinated by, like, how, like, something that's cringy and makes you uncomfortable, like, externalizes. Yeah. And you went with the binocular approach. I, I, quite I, like just, it. I just don't like it. Let us know what your cringe Bad. approach is. Guys, thank you very much for watching. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. We'll be returning back to the city of Philadelphia uh, next week. And you can't resist that move. It's a good move. How do you think he got his wife? Huh? Four kids. Oh, you talking about me? Jeez. Oh, shit. Hi, I'm Jenny. I'll be your server this evening.